Mark Rogers TV busting through more BCS Conference previews and predictions. We're just 48 hours away from kickoff. We move on to the ACC. College football's fifth best conference, not nearly as bad as the Big East, unless we go by the Orange Bowl last season when Clemson was completely obliterated and annihilated and embarrassed by West Virginia 70-33. to The game wasn't even that close. In fact, if you look at the last decade, the ACC has been a big disappointment on the national stage. When Miami, BC, and Virginia Tech joined, I expected this league to join the SEC and at the time the Big Ten as the elite of college football, but it hasn't happened. Tech has dominated the ACC, but when the Hokies step outside of conference play, they don't look good. In fact, the ACC is 2-13 and 13 in BCS Bowl games, and I don't even know if we can count those wins over Cincinnati and over Virginia Tech when the Hokies were in the Big East. 2012 could be the year for the ACC because it could be the year for Florida State. E.J. Manuel's got one more shot at glory in Tallahassee. He's a senior, 18 touchdowns, 8 picks, 65% completion percentage for E.J. Manuel last season. Of course, he's a dual threat. He's got help on the outside with Rodney Smith and Rashad Green. They each caught 35 passes last season, and the production should go up in Tallahassee in the passing game. Levanta Freeman, this guy ran for 8 touchdowns as a freshman, He's a star recruit, but Florida State actually had trouble rushing the football. The offensive line not dominant in the running game. They're going to have to fix that to contend in the ACC and beyond. Jimbo Fisher has been a man on the recruiting trail in the past few years, and it's especially shown up on defense. The Knolls have not had a letdown there. Although they didn't perform as well as expected against Wake Forest and Clemson last season, but the Knolls... Generally, defense has not been an issue in recent years. They should be even better in 2012. The defense is awesome. The offense is getting better. Look out for Florida State. Now we talk Clemson, their main competition in the Atlantic Division. Clemson was amazing on offense last year, led by Taj Boyd with 33 touchdown passes. Despite those numbers, he's not a precision passer. He's a dual-threat guy who finds guys loose in the secondary. He's getting better, though. And you've got Sammy Watkins with 82 catches, DeAndre Hopkins with 73, and Andre Ellington. He rushed for 1,100 yards. Clemson's got maybe the best offense in the country, save the offensive line, which is kind of marginal. It's the defense that's a huge issue at Clemson. The Orange Bowl just kind of magnified that, but Clemson had issues all season. Not with recruiting equaling speed or talent. It's desire, it's effort, it's scheme. Missed assignments, poor tackling, especially in the secondary. Clemson's got to fix things on defense. Then you've got North Carolina State. The secondary's back, the pass rush is good, and how about Mike Lennon at quarterback? 31 touchdown passes in leading North Carolina State to an 8-5 record and a bowl victory. The Wolfpack, that's the sleeper in that division. As we move on now to the Coastal Division, dominated by Virginia Tech. They went 7-1 in conference play. And despite losing to Michigan in the Sugar Bowl, if you watch the game, they shut down Denard Robinson cold. Michigan couldn't move the football. The Hokies looked great, but blew the game on offense and due to some poor coaching decisions. And they've got nine starters back from that defense. They're going to be challenged by Georgia Tech primarily because of uh, Tevin Washington, 1,000 yards rushing and 14 touchdowns. But I don't like this style offense. You get behind by 10 points. You can't come back. The passing game is atrocious. Check out Washington's passing numbers against the better competition, especially in the games the Yellow Jackets lost. They cannot compete with the better teams in the passing game. And their defense got ripped against the better teams as well. We've also got uh, Mike London and the work that he's done at Virginia, but the, the Cavaliers not ready this season after getting to a bowl game last season. So it comes down to Florida State and Virginia Tech. They will play in the ACC championship game and expect the Knowles to get the job done this season. Going to check out the schedule. Look at the big games here. Late September, you've got Clemson at Florida State. That is huge in the Atlantic Division. And then some scheduling 
uh, situations of note here. Virginia doesn't have to play Clemson or Florida State, the two best teams by far in the other division. Georgia Tech's got no Florida State. NC State doesn't have to play Virginia Tech, so that could really play into the Atlantic Division equation as the Wolfpack try to keep up with Florida State and Clemson. Again, we've got Florida State over Virginia Tech in the ACC Championship game. We'll have more previews and predictions coming up. Would love to hear insight from ACC fans on their conference on Mark Rogers TV.